Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Kazmarek. I am so excited to be back teaching fourth quarter art with you. I know in these very unprecedented times, um, normally we would be in the classroom together. Unfortunately, we're not. We're doing online learning, but that still doesn't mean we can't um, connect through Google Classroom. I've been um, looking and navigating through Google Classroom the past few days, and I'm really excited um, to see the great things that North Olmsted is doing um, so we can still have this um, time together. Um, so I wanted to start by just saying hello. I don't know if you remember me. I was only at school for a few weeks, especially for my kindergartners. You probably don't remember me um, or it seems like a really long time ago. It does for me too. For my first and second graders, it's good to see you again. I hope I get to see you again in the fall. Uh, when we return um, well, for my first graders. And um, so for now, I'm going to be showing you each week a lesson that you can do with your family or on your own or with a sibling. And a lot of it has to do with a book. I love, love reading stories in art class. I love looking at the illustrations and connecting uh, stories to art projects. So for this uh, first lesson that I'll be teaching, we are going to look at a story, and this story is called Sticks. Maybe you've read it before, you've heard about it. It's um, written and illustrated by Diane Alber, and she uh, started these other books too. She's got quite a few books that she's written. One of them that is my one of my favorites is this one right here. It's called I Am Not a Scribble. And you might have um, had that with me in kindergarten. A lot of times, for many years, I've been um, do, reading this story and students have created scribbles because we talk about how making lines and marks is art. We always start with the basics and how that is, um, that's art. No matter if you make a scribble, you're an artist. So she wrote another book called Sticks and I just fell in love with the story and it also came with this really cool poster and when I saw it it made me just think oh my gosh this is the perfect thing for us to be looking at and it's a great reminder for me too so it's the book cover it's the cover of the book came with a poster and it says sometimes things happen and the reasons aren't clear but give it some time and the answers appear. Believe in yourself. Here's our character, uh, st a popsicle stick, and here's the another part at the end of the story. So we will. I'm going to read the story to you, and um, we're going to talk about what happens in the story and how this is so relevant to us today. And great reminder for me too, especially with all these things going on. It's so unclear in our lives but we can um, try to per uh, persevere and make the best of the situation. I believe that making art or doing music or anything physical is going to be so great for you during this time. I know for myself, getting outside has helped me tremendously or just drawing a little bit, creating something, even just singing songs, dancing with my kids. Um, I think it's so, so important to do that during this time when we can get caught up in all the day-to-day -day things. So don't forget just to do a little coloring or drawing or dancing or just moving. It's going to give your, um, your brain, the other side of your brain, a little uh, break and it's going to exercise that part of the brain that's so important. So I just, um, I hope that you can get some time to do that during this, um, this quarter and any way I can help and guide you, I'm more than happy to. So without further ado, we're going to read the story, Sticks. Here's the book. And I will try my best to have this camera nice and clear for you. It says to my children, Ryan and Anna, thank you for refusing to throw away your sticky popsicle sticks because you knew you could make them into something amazing. I don't know about you, but my kids love to leave popsicle sticks all over the house. All right, here we go. This story begins on a hot summer day when a cold, tasty treat began melting away. Whew. 
It was so very hot and it happened so quick. What once was a popsicle was now a stained stick. He's like, oh. Deep in a puddle that was getting quite sticky, this sad little stick cried and felt rather icky. I should not have gone out when it was so hot. I was sweet and amazing, but now I am not. What can I do? This has all gone so wrong. I'm just a plain stick. Oh, where do I belong? <laughs> then Stick heard a voice from way up in a tree. Hello down there. You can come hang with me. I couldn't help hearing what you have been through. My name is Twig and I'm made of wood too. See Twig up here? There's a stick and there's Twig. He's like, hello, I can hear you. Look at Stick. He does not look very thrilled right now. The Twig looks happy. Please do not cry and just listen to me. Before a sweet popsicle, you were part of a tree. There's so much in this world for you to explore. You will get through this and be more than before. So now he's down on the ground and popsicle stick is still like, hmm. And the twig is pointing. I'll tell you what it says. Twig quickly jumped down from the very tall tree and said, Stick, there is something I'd like you to see. Some things happen and the reasons aren't clear, but give it some time and the answers up here. Here's this page. She knew her friend Pencil could draw something grand. Hopefully he could help Stick understand. Here's Pencil. I was once a stick too, and nothing much more. But then one special day, I got a gray core. And I didn't know how to draw, so I, was, so I swirled a nice line. And then I discovered I made a design. And that looks just like the scribble from the scribble story. You are amazing. I don't think Stick thinks he's quite amazing yet. You can tell in his face. He looks a little still down. Can you see? I'm not just a stained stick. My only talent was melting too quick. I cannot draw or do a fun trick. I'll always be just an icky, sticky stick. Twig knew she needed to show Stick even more. Something amazing that he could not ignore. So they went to see Brush. He was once lost too, but now he could paint with red, yellow, and blue. I hope you remember the importance of red, yellow, and blue. I'll give you a hint, they're the primary colors. They're the most important colors in the color wheel. Okay, still looks a little upset. Let's read on. Brush was a, wait. Brush was a plain stick and nothing much more. But one special day, he got bristles galore. Look at him now. Look at all he can do. He easily made that fun splatter crew. Look at Brush and look at his little splatters. It is true what Twig said. I was once just like you. Please don't be afraid to try something new. I know you are scared. I can tell by your face but it might take some time to find your right place. We believe in you. That's a beautiful painting, not gonna lie. Can't you see, I'm just a stained stick. My only talent was melting too quick. I cannot paint or do a fun trick. I'll always be just an icky, sticky 
stick. His friends are trying. Listen to me. You are pretty great. Don't say I can't. Say I can. And celebrate. I know you have not been a plain stick before. You have the chance now to be something much more. <sighs> okay. So they're back to the spot. Let's see what happens. Twig, Twig saw that Stick was still very upset. So she thought they should go back to where they first met. Back at the sweet puddle of sugary goo, Twig thought Stick might be, might find a good clue. Then Twig looked up. It's been there all along. That little stick house could be where you belong. Up there. Stick's kind of like, oh, hmm. Twig was excited. She ran up the tree and shouted to Stick, hurry up, follow me. Stick couldn't believe Twig had climbed up so high. I've never climbed a tree and I'm too scared to try. Just then, a bluebird flew down to the ground and lifted Stick up without making a sound. Here's Bluebird. Grab the stick. He's like, hmm, this is good for my house. And Stick's like, oh, where are you taking me? Check it out. I see him. Do you see him? I'll go over here and I'll read this side. The bird placed him gently on the last open space. Finally, Stick found his new happy place. This is where I belong. I can make art in a tree. It was quite a journey, but I'm glad to be me. Now the pages look a lot more colorful. I love all the texture. Stick never forgot that one hot summer day and was glad that his popsicle melted away. He made some true friends and beautiful tree art and learned it's never too late to have a fresh start. There's Twig and there's Stick. And what's cool is they even show you in the back how to make a, a popsicle stick birdhouse at home. That's really fun. You probably need an adult to help you with that. And you can always check out this book at your local library as soon as we are able to go back to the library. For now, you can read the book with me again as many times as you want. I'll have this on my YouTube channel, which I will also add into the video. So you can check me out on YouTube too. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this book. I th I, like I said, I think it's um, a great story to read during this time. A great reminder for me, from, um, your, for your parents, for family, and for yourself to know that you are something great. And sometimes things happen that we just don't really understand. But we know that something better is going to come out of it. And if you need a reminder, I'm going to have this, pick this poster um, up on my Google Classroom too. So we can read it and remind, and remind ourselves together. So with this, I'm going to also attach another video of the art lesson that we're going to do with the story sticks and um, as an option for you for next week to start. So can't wait to see what you guys create and what you come up with. Stay tuned. Bye, guys.